I know that there's a lot of word going around that it's hard to start a WordPress blog because of the added steps of signing up with a website hosting service, registering your domain, and basically designing a website from scratch. And this may have been the case like 10, maybe even 20 years ago, but it's definitely not the case today. So if you're a total beginner in blogging or not really tech savvy at all, you are in the right place because today I'm going to be showing you how to start a WordPress blog in a ridiculously short amount of time in 15 minutes. So let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Georgia LaBeouf and I help women grow their blogs and work from home at travelingfatiguegirl.com. So before I get started with the WordPress walkthrough, I first want to clear out a few things on why WordPress is really great for blogging. So what I like about WordPress is that it has a simple layout so it's easy to create blog posts and create pages. And later on in the video, I'm going to be showing you a quick tour of the WordPress dashboard just so that you can get a peek of how it looks like. Well, just for reference, I'm talking about wordpress.org, not wordpress.com. Wordpress.com it's a free version of WordPress. Here today, I'm going to be talking about your own self-hosted WordPress, which you'll find at wordpress.org. So one of the best things about starting your own WordPress blog is that you get to own your domain, meaning you'll have your own .com address. So instead of your blog being like travelingpetitegirl.blogspot.com, instead it's going to be travelingpetitegirl.com, so it's shorter, clearer, and easier to remember, which is perfect for branding. And having a domain like that is also professional and builds a lot of credibility because people can easily tell that you invested in your blog, in yourself, and in your business. And when you have your own domain, you also have your own email. So you can have an email like your name at yourblog.com. So in my case would be like jojo at travelingpetitegirl.com. And compared to free website builders like Blogger, Wix, and Squarespace, your blog will be SEO friendly or search engine optimized friendly, meaning your blog is more likely to rank in Google and the higher your blog ranks in Google, the more traffic you'll get. Plus with a WordPress blog, they have these amazing SEO plugins to make your blog as SEO optimized as possible. So you can be sure to get higher traffic than a free website builder. So if you're wondering how much it's going to cost to create a WordPress blog, it's going to depend on your web host provider, basically where you buy your domain. And there are a few like HostGator, GoDaddy, SiteGround, and Bluehost. Bluehost is the one that I personally use and it's going to be the one that I use in this tutorial too. And with them, it costs $2.95 a month. So the reason why I chose Bluehost and why I highly recommend it to bloggers is that they have a basic plan that's perfect for bloggers or anyone just getting into the blogging space. And it's very affordable and their basic plan also comes with a free domain use of one year, which is usually an additional cost with other web host providers. They also have this thing called a one-click WordPress installation, meaning after you register your domain, they're going to ask you, hey, do you want to put WordPress in this domain? You basically say yes, and boom, you already have a WordPress blog. And then of course, they have 24-7 support if you need some help with setting up your blog. And if for some reason you're not happy with it, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's a lot to gain with having your own blog. And if for some reason you're still on the fence in between a free website builder and your own self-hosted WordPress blog. Do know that a free website won't cost you any money, but a self-hosted website will make you money. So along with having a stronger brand, looking professional, and having the credibility with a .com address, most affiliate and ad programs actually require that you have a self-hosted website in order to work with them. And because you're getting higher traffic with a self-hosted WordPress blog, you'll have a much farther reach to collaborate with brands and get paid. So as long as you put in the work, your blog can basically pay for itself in a few months. All right, now that I've mentioned those things, let's get started with the walkthrough. I'm gonna bring you guys closer into my laptop over here so that you can get a better view of how to start your WordPress blog in 15 minutes or less. So I am now here at Bluehost.com and Bluehost is a web host provider and this is where you will be registering your domain and installing WordPress. So before I go ahead and click get started, I just want to correct myself and say that over here it says $2.95 a month. But when I head over to Bluehost.com in an incognito um, window, it says $3.95 a month. So I guess when you do visit more than multiple times to the same website, um, it gets cheaper. I'm not sure about that, but that's something to look at. But in case you guys are here at bluehost.com for the first time, I'm going to go head over into the one that says $3.95 a month and select get started. And then over here, you're going to go ahead and go to select and select the basic package and then create your new domain. So this is where you'll be typing your blog name. So that's mine. After that, go ahead and click next and it will say if your domain is available. 
So go ahead and fill in your account information over here. And over here down in package information, you wanna go ahead and select which package you want. So there is a $2.95 a month, $3.95, and a $4.95 a month package. So if you select the different account plans, you can go ahead and see what the upfront cost is over in hosting price. So for 12 months, you pay $59.40 upfront. For 24 months, you pay $94.80. And for 36 months, you pay under $6.20. I'm gonna be choosing the 36 month package because it is cheaper in the long run and then under package extras I'm just going to uncheck all of these just to keep things simple and then I'll be filling out my account information and then my payment information so once you have filled out all the necessary information go ahead and click submit awesome so the payment went through the next step is to select create account so your domain name is automatically going to be your username when you log into Bluehost so go ahead and just type in your password now that the account has been set up, you can go ahead and go to login. So now log in into your new account. So now it's time to create your website by installing WordPress into your domain. So go ahead and fill out the questions here on what best represents you. I'm going to select blog, what type it is, and then from here, click continue. And then for the name of your site, you would simply type the name of your website and then your site's tagline. So if you don't have a tagline for your blog, that's totally fine. What I actually do is fill this part with the niche of my blog, just for SEO purposes, to make my blog as SEO friendly as possible. I'm just going to skip these questions and go to continue to theme selection. So there are themes here, but I'm going to skip this step. All right, so now you have your WordPress blog. So if you wanna see how your site looks like, go ahead and click this button over here. And because your blog is not live yet, it's going to say coming soon. So until you publish your blog and launch it and make it available for the public to see, it's going to show this page. So to access your WordPress dashboard and create content, go ahead and go to WordPress over here. All right, so this is the WordPress dashboard. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour of how to go about this menu right here. So if I click over here on post, this is where I would create my blog posts and to create a new one you would just select add new next up are pages and this is where you would create new pages for your website such as your about me page your contact page your privacy policy page and your work with me page next up over here on appearance is where you would make changes into how your website looks and also make changes to your sidebar your footer and your menus and that's it you now have a brand spanking new wordpress blog and you did it in under 15 minutes it's really easy right so now that you have your WordPress blog, you're probably wondering how to design it from scratch because it looks very blank. So what I highly recommend, and this is the route that I did, is to go to themeforest.com. So go to WordPress themes and then select the blog section. And then you're gonna see a whole array of WordPress themes that you can customize. Not gonna lie, there is a lot to look at. So I highly recommend time blocking yourself into maybe an hour of looking at themes. Choose the best one that fits closest to representing your brand. Buy the theme, download it, and then upload it into the appearance menu in the WordPress dashboard. And then from there, you can go ahead and customize your logo, the colors, the fonts, everything else. If you're interested in the thing that I have on my blog, Traveling Petite Girl, it's called Cheer Up. It's also from themeforest.net and I'll have the link below too. All right, so that's it on how to start a WordPress blog in less than 15 minutes. I hope I've enlightened you on the whole process and showed you that it's actually a much easier than people think it is. So now that you know how to start a WordPress blog, you're probably wondering about the next steps, which is coming up with content people will want to read, writing those blog posts, and then sharing it. I've got a great PDF for you. It's called the Bold Blogger Launch Checklist. It has all the steps you need to get your blog started and launch it in a way that's doable and without the overwhelm. It has everything from from choosing your niche into promoting your first blog post. And if you have any questions about blogging, feel free to have a conversation with me over at my Facebook group, The Bold Blogger Mastermind. There's already a few of us talking about blogging over there, so go ahead and go to this link over here to join the group. So that's it for today. I'm Georgia LaBeouf, and I help women grow their blogs and work from home. Please like and subscribe for more tips. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!